Hey guys, it's Holly the Twister Sister and this is a Business Advice Friday video. So I get a lot of questions from newbies about a lot of beginner things and I love answering those newbie questions. And this week we are talking about what balloons to get when you are really just starting and you're thinking you want to maybe explore doing this as a business or a side hustle for some extra money. What supplies exactly should you start with? We're gonna talk about all of that in this video. Now before we get into it, I wanna let you guys know that I want this to be as easy and user-friendly as possible, and so I've created a free PDF checklist guide that you can download that's gonna have all of my recommendations there with little check boxes that you can check off as you get everything and get the supplies that you need to start off doing balloons. Now to do this, I kind of had to think back to when I very first started twisting balloons and what were like the minimal supplies and basic balloons that I absolutely must have uh, to do those beginner designs that I was doing. And so it's mostly 260s, right? But I do have a few other prints and round different shape balloons and stuff that will help make your life easier as a beginner. So to get right into it, let's talk about the balloons first. We're gonna need a lot of 260s and I recommend you basically get the whole rainbow of 260s. Now when you go shopping for balloons, you're probably gonna see a lot of mixed bags, assortments, and I, you know, if you're just trying to play around and get a feel for this, you just wanna master um, how to twist balloons, get an assortment and just try a bunch of colors and have fun with it. But when you wanna start actually doing some jobs, taking some gigs and doing some work, I recommend buying bags of individual colors. They'll come in either 50 count or 100 count bags usually and it's not really that expensive. You can, if you go to a good distributor, you can get your balloons for anywhere from four to $7 a bag. Um, and so we're talking about 13 colors of 260s to start off with. If you add it all up, it will come out to, you know, a little bit over $100. You could probably maybe get up to about 200 with some other supplies, but all things considered, it's a pretty inexpensive business to get into if that's all you've got to put up to start. So on the 260s, uh, the whole rainbow, which would be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, and then don't forget your pink, very important. Also, you're gonna need to have a good black, a white, uh, a brown, and then a flesh tone. Usually it's called blush, peach blush, something like that. And that comes out to 13 different colors. And again, they're all listed for you in the checklist, which you can download. The link is in the description below. Now, outside of 260s, we're not gonna do any 160s. We're not gonna do any 360s or other crazy size balloons. Um, this is just to start with the basics. You can always add more supplies later, and I guarantee that you will if you continue twisting for any length of time. But let's talk about some of the other kind of odd or shaped balloons that I would absolutely recommend you get to start off with. Uh, the first thing is gonna be white five inch rounds. That's what I made this little guy's head with. Uh, you, you're gonna use these, if you're following my designs, you're gonna use white five inch rounds a whole lot. I used the heck out of these things when I was first starting. I gave everything eyeballs with white five inch rounds. <laughs> and so a lot of my earlier designs use white five inch rounds for the eyes. And so these are gonna be good ones to have in your kit. Um, and then there's gonna be, uh, some distributors will have what's called a sweetheart this assortment, which is a bag of six inch heart shaped balloons that comes in red, pink, and white. And I use those for all kinds of things. Whites for Hello Kitties. I use the pink and the red as tongues for a lot of my balloons just to add on a little tongue. It, customers will love it. Um, so just doing simple things like that. I used a lot of hearts and white five inch rounds when I was first starting. Now when it comes to prints, there, I don't know, there might be hundreds of prints now that you can choose from and so you can really get carried away with ordering the printed balloons and they do make your life easier. However, it can be hard to organize them all and you're probably not starting off your balloon twisting career with a professional bag that has hundreds of pockets for you to put all these different types of balloons. So I've picked out four different prints that I think I use the most in my career, especially when I was first starting off 
off and these four things carried me for a long time and really thrilled all of my customers for those first couple of years and those prints are the alien heads the spider-man heads the elsa hearts there's also Anna hearts and you can get those too but i mean everybody really likes elsa even still and the new movie is coming out next month so she's not going anywhere and the last one would be the ninja prints those four different prints really just added so much to my work as a new twister and they thrilled everybody who got one and so if i could only pick four prints to have those would be the ones that i would start with and then as you get more successful and get more bookings and want to branch out you can always add more i love the polka dots i love the stars around uh, there's so many of course this time of year i love my own sugar skull prints and there's a lot of cool halloween prints out as well um, but those are the four I would start off with and that's it for the balloons That's really all the balloons that I think a new person would need to start off and be able to make a whole lot of designs and be able to work a restaurant and some beginning parties um, Just get those to start with and you'll see a lot of my older videos where I'm just going through like basic stuff a lot um, You'll be able to make most of the things I show um, just you know a lot of my designs I try to stick to stuff that is 260s and rounds and prints so you should be able to do a lot with just what I listed there now if you want to talk about supplies for a second let's get into that unless you are really superhuman or you've been practicing for a long time or uh, clowning just runs in your DNA and your blood you probably can't mouth inflate these 260s and you're gonna need a pump now I went for years with a Qualitex hand pump dual action which means it blows air um, both ways so if you push it out or in it blow air comes out of the pump both times uh, definitely recommend a dual action air pump and I went for many many years with just using a hand pump lots of eight four six hour gigs with just a hand pump and I survived so I know that you can do it too make sure you get a good quality one and get a backup because they do uh, they'll last a long time but sometimes especially if a kid gets a hold of them um, they'll kind of tend to push on it at an angle and it'll snap this stick part and so make sure you've got a backup in your car at all times and then you can always think about upgrading to the electric or the floor pumps later but you need to have something to start with right so get yourself a good dual action hand pump you're going to want to make sure you've got scissors these are just you know elementary school scissors from walmart a selection of markers i usually use permanent markers but dry erase markers are good as well and they're a little bit better than permanent because if your balloon pops they don't liquefy again and get all over your clothes um, i'd also recommend having some kind of a white paint pen it's not 100% necessary, but it really adds to the cuteness factor on your designs just by adding those little dots to their eyes. So I highly recommend um, any kind of white paint pen. I like the Posca brand, but any brand will do if you're just adding dots. Um, definitely black Sharpies, and then I like to have a selection of other colors as well for things like blush and different colored eyes. And yellow is one I always find myself needing and not having uh, mostly for Hello Kitty noses, <laughs> so keep those in mind. You're definitely going to want to have some business cards. If you're starting to do any gigs, any work, even if it's free for your neighbors, people are going to be asking you for your information right away from your very first event, so you want to be prepared to give them something and not look like a deer in headlights, like oh, I didn't think I wasn't prepared for this question. Uh, uh, go to my Facebook page, go to Facebook and type this in. You know, you don't wanna be doing that. You wanna have be prepared with some kind of business card. You can print your own. They've got a little business card printing paper at any office supply store. You can print your own. We've got templates for you on the Twister Hood that you can customize and have printed right there online really easy if you're not in the twister hood it's a great resource especially if you're a new twister you can get on the wait list to join when we open our doors next at the twisterhood.com and then of course you are going to need some sort of bag or apron to put all of these supplies right so we're not going to get into all the different types of bags and aprons and kits that are out there 
um, in this video. But I will say to start off with, it's great to invest in an apron that's made specifically for balloon twisting or if you wanna be more stationary and have a bag that you set on a table, you can go to your local craft store and there's a lot of different options when it comes to like scrapbooking bags work really well for us as balloon twisters because they usually have a lot of different pockets and compartments to put our different balloons and markers and supplies. So if you want something now, like today, you can go down to a craft store and get a, a look at the scrapbooking bags and see if anything like that would work for you. I've also gone to Walmart and have seen little like arts and craft type bags there that worked really well for me for just like having a small kit on hand. Um, so there are things that you can get at your local store. And then when you wanna think about upgrading to a more professional looking and working kit, um, there's a lot of great options on the market now. Um, but you can expect to spend anywhere from usually $100 on up for a really good balloon twisting bag. So that's something you might wanna save up for in the future after you've gotten a few gigs under your belt. And that's really the basics that you need to start working as a professional balloon twister. There are some other fun things that I do like to include in my kit and those would be things like uh, hair bands to make bracelets, headbands to make hats and headbands, obviously. Um, then there's a whole bunch of stickers and stick on jewels that I love to add and even glow sticks and just balloon sticks that you can attach your designs onto the top of the sticks and hand your customers a balloon on a stick. They love that as well. So again, that whole list of everything I just mentioned is available for you to download so you can print it out and go through it and get everything on there and your own time as you want to. Um, the link again is down in the description below so make sure you go grab that and put in your email address, tell me where to send it to you and you'll get it instantly. If you guys enjoy these types of topics and advice videos, let me know by just liking this video, give it a little thumbs up and if you want to see more make sure that you're subscribed and that you ring the bell also. Um, even if you're subscribed now, have you rung the bell? You might want to check <laughs> and that will make sure that YouTube notifies you whenever I put out a new video, which is every Tuesday for sure for Tutorial Tuesday. And I try to hit Fridays every Friday, but sometimes it's more like every other Friday. Um, but that is what we do every week. So I hope that you guys enjoy this and I'll see you over on our free Facebook group and where we kind of talk and have fun and share pictures all throughout the rest of the week. And if you're looking for more business related advice videos, you can hop on over here to one of these other videos, check it out, see if it's interesting to you. And I'll see you in one of those videos. Till then, happy twisting. Bye.